Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Alicia and I have this journal that I had been working on for a while and I finally finished it up. I wanted to get it out of the way and it's made from Amazon packaging so it's recycled and I've used a lot of Vintage by Me and uh, Vintage by Me has a, a lot of digitals in their shop and I really love them. So they're very grungy and it goes really well with this uh, recycling of the Amazon package. So um, um, one of my other favorites is Sunday Fable and they came out with some new butterflies recently. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll link those uh, digitals below. And um, this is what it looks like. And I've added my gold deco foil on here. Hope you can see it. And some of the little um, um, stones on the butterflies here. And you can get a set of these uh, on Amazon. I'll try to link that set below if it's still available. And there's some vintage um, trim, some lace. Uh, some cheesecloth and so I have some blue sari silk and I get my sari silk from felt better on Etsy and this is a silver but uh, I mean a gold button that I thought went well with the gold deco foil and just the overall look and I've used this uh, vintage table runner for pockets on the inside all right, and so here's the inside cover. Real pretty lady there. And this is a different um, printable. And I'll link this one below as well. So here's some pretty lace. And then I just have um, some vintage uh, letters here. So I'll just fold it up like this. I have this printed on parchment paper. That's what it looks like. And I, I just distressed the edges how it looked whenever I printed it out. So it just slips in. Here. That can uh, be a good writing place. And then I just made this little tablet out of the printable and I just love the way it looks. So I wanted to keep this piece together. So you can see I put this little bow there and I just used some various um, coffee dyed and avocado dyed papers in here and uh, printed this um, notebook paper on the back for writing and it just slips in the front pocket here and I also printed the notebook paper on the back of some of the digitals here's an old letter with a real pretty butterfly I printed that on coffee dyed paper here's a doily and the tag stitched around the tag and a vintage envelope I believe I printed this on coffee dyed paper as well so I have avocado dyed, coffee dyed and this uh, beautiful pom pom trim here's a glassine bag with just a piece of ephemera a doily, cheesecloth, and a butterfly. And here's some vellum. Printed on that. Here's some very vintage notebook paper. Um, it's like a legal pad paper and it's kind of patinaed on the edge. I got that at a thrift store and I just love it. So a lace pocket here, a 
And this beautiful digital um, by uh, Digital Fit is so pretty. There's a pretty tag with a doily that I've collaged on there and sewed around it with some sari silk. Butterfly, the little stone. There's some tracing paper, a coffee dye. I love this one here too. Here's the other uh, part of a glassine bag and I just got some scraps and an old receipt in there. There's another pocket with a tag. Real pretty butterfly with a black stone in there. Here's another tag. Hope you can see that. And another vintage letter here. Oh, it's not a letter, it's a an invoice of some kind. And then I just put this together. I thought it would be neat to have one of these to open up. And this is just a pocket here. You can slip photos or notes and I've stitched around the whole thing. And so it only opens at the top and then you just uh, wrap it back up with a little couple of beads on the end. And then you can slip uh, something in the back here. There's a real pretty tag. This is a recipe page. some more ephemera. It's another little tag. Butterfly. Here's a part of the glassine bag, the other part. It's got a little receipt in there. doily. It's got vintage lace on the edges here. And then here's the back pocket and it's all collage on the inside here. And this is part of the Vintage by Me digital. There's some coffee dyed notebook paper. And this is on coffee dyed paper. It's a ledger. It's a blank so it can be written on. And I just love all the colors, how they came together with the blues, the different types of blues. And I hope you like it too. Um, this is going to be in my Etsy uh, store. I'll link that below. And I'm working on some custom journals and some other ideas. And I'll be back with more creations. Thank you so much for watching. And liking, sharing, subscribing, and I'll see you on the next video.